chemicals in my head Gotta break the taboo No, we will never be criminals, criminals but Sticks and stones won't break my soul Gotta be your own miracle, miracle PatrickMelbourneReviewBlogs.com. We have the pleasure to meet all 16 contestants of Malta Eurovision. And we have the pleasure today to be with one of the <laughs> fan favorites already, Christabel. Awesome. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> Always welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, you weren't there last year, unfortunately, but uh, you were already like more participating more before. And now you're back. What made you decide to come back? So, um, I guess... Eurovision, I always, Malta Eurovision Song Contest, I always see it as a huge platform for Maltese artists to showcase their music, obviously, and the talent, um, to obviously the Maltese audience and also foreigners. I've taken, I've been taking part since, since 2014. I took part three, three times in a row, and then I decided to take a break, um, work on music outside Malta Eurovision, as well as as well as have a bit of time for my job as well. I watched the show last year from the audience and I missed it so much. Mm -hmm. And I said, for sure, I'll be back. Oh, we're glad that you're back. <laughs> um, so this year, uh, you're, you're with your song. Uh, absolutely stunning. Thank you. Uh, great, great. How was the songwriting of Taboo? How, was, how did it okay. all come together? Um, we worked on different demos. Um, I liked some, I didn't like others. Then, like, when the melody for Taboo was created, I was like, this is the one. <laughs> I knew what the, the song was going to be about because I was involved in the writing process. I'm one of the songwriters. Um, I, wanted, I wanted it to be, to be all about the awareness of mental health. And I knew that I was going to name it Taboo. Okay. And when I mentioned it to Thomas, he was like, oh my God, that's a fantastic name. In his eyes, when he told me that, I said, then we'll have to go yeah. for that name. <laughs> because, obviously, he knows best. Um, I guess <laughs> I guess uh, the process was fun. Because then I went to, to Sweden to record as well. It was super amazing. I had three days in the studio, but we managed to finish on in the first afternoon. Because mm -hmm. I was so into the song that I kind of knew it. And... I had a bit of time to go around Stockholm as well, and I loved it. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> now, you mentioned already the background of mental awareness of your song. Yes. How do you connect to, to the message by yourself? Okay. Um, the song is very personal to me because I went through a, a pretty rough time this year. Um, well, in 2017, it wasn't an easy year for my family and I. Obviously, the fact that I went through it, I kind of understood what people that go through it mm -hmm go through um, what I know that there's a problem and I feel that obviously it's a, it's still a taboo because people don't really speak openly about yeah. problems that have to do with mental issues and so I felt that I felt that I should address this problem just to raise awareness because I feel that in life you should be extremely positive mm -hmm. always know that there's someone for you you're never alone and that every person makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And I feel that with music, I could connect with these people, connect with other people that may go through this in the future and help other, feet, other people seek help. Whereas at the same time, I feel super lucky and blessed that I can use um, media, music as a platform to be able to showcase this message kind of and raise awareness about mental health and how it shouldn't be something to be ashamed mm -hmm. of you know mm -hmm. what i mean oh it's it's a beautiful message and i Thank think you. a lot of people can connect to it I, I that's what i believe as well i mean the, with the feedback that i've had a lot of people have spoken to me about their issues mm -hmm. and i feel that i can relate because i've been through it i it didn't it doesn't mean that hadn't i been through it i wouldn't have been able to relate however when you go through it it's it's obviously mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. but again i want to like my message is all about positivity and mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. it should be. We should always be positive in life and like all, remove all mm -hmm. negativity. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank now you, you said that uh, you you worked with Thomas Gerson, who yes. is the Eurovision God, let's say, <laughs> of Sweden and even internationally. What tips did he give to you? Even though you're a veteran in more Eurovision, but I'm sure he had some tips for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a really great person to work with. Um, 
in the studio, he was like super fun. And when I started recording, he's like, oh, I didn't think this would turn out to be <laughs> <laughs> like in his eyes, it was really good. And in fact, like with the studio time that we had, he kind of was super surprised because he hadn't worked with me before. So mm -hmm. it was obviously the tips that he's given me is to obviously be myself on stage, obviously showcase the message that obviously that has to come yes. through and feel the music because at the end of the day, the day it's all about the music. Definitely, and definitely. The song is a powerful one and I feel that it's a catchy song, so... Now I know that you cannot tell us a lot about your performance. <laughs> it's every the same. You, it's a surprise sort of. But <laughs> well, is there at least something that you can tell us? Because our readers really want to know. <laughs> well, uh, the message of the song, besides being a positive one in the sense that I'm helping people, it's quite dark because it's not. Mm -hmm. It's an issue and it's. Will you be alone on stage? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Well, what does that tell you? <laughs> Still always interesting, you know? <laughs> no, but, uh, but no, no. I mean, I'm really looking forward to my performance. I feel that I think this will be, as staging wise, will be my best performance yet. So at least, so I'm really happy that I have worked on like, this performance hopefully very will, exciting. hopefully <laughs> the performance will turn out to be amazing i'm very confident in my song so i believe that's amazing yeah, no i think in general you need to be very confident for I, your vision as well no, if you I, then I, have the chance to go <laughs> that would be a dream come true but obviously, obviously you have to wait till the 3rd of february i am one out of 16 contestants yeah. we all have an equal chance of winning everyone has a great song they wouldn't be in the in the final exactly. 16 i guess and I don't like, as in, I am a competitive person, but with myself, yeah. not with yeah, other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And I feel that there there shouldn't be that sense of competition. In fact, this year we're a very good group. Yes. We always, we're all like really close to each other. So at least I'm really happy about that. that that's beautiful. It's always nice to have, you know, people around you that are fun and that I enjoy know, it I even know. more than. Um, obviously, the winner of Multi Vision, also, of course, goes to Lisbon, but also has the chance to make a musical video out of out of That would be song. amazing. Now, if if you tell me really quickly, how if you would have the chance to do it tomorrow, how would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I would need some expertise in that, but I would I would let it be a continuation of what I'm going to have on stage. Oh, so you have to wait until we have to February. wait. Uh, it's so exciting, really. <laughs> really can't wait. <laughs> um, now, obviously on the 3rd of February, we're going to have the final of Malta. Um, how would you, if you have the chance to go and represent Malta, how, how would your preparations go further? How, what would you do the first thing if you know I'm going to Lisbon? <laughs> first thing is <laughs> say a prayer and say thank you for, to God for obviously allowing me to be in this position. Um, but I think I think the first step would be that start working on the performance mm -hmm. for Lisbon and obviously all that leads up to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will still be myself. Of course. Of it, so <laughs> <laughs> I will be representing Malta. However, obviously I love my country a lot, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, need to, we need to work on the package to take to Lisbon, obviously. And to the final and to the victory. That's what we are That's going it. in for. Eh? Everyone, everyone goes in for that, but one step at a time. Of course, of course, of course. So. Uh, no worries. Um, and also, of course, uh, what do you think makes you stand out in with all of those countries in, in Lisbon? I think, obviously, the message of the song, the fact that the song, the music is a very, is powerful. And me as a performer, I guess, I'm quite confident on stage, as in I don't want to jinx myself, but I felt that in the past that I presented myself well on mm -hmm. stage, I could perform well, and I'm, and I'm quite emotional in this song, so that would be the edge, mm -hmm. I feel. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the staging will help, but and I so feel that as, song, as myself, no? it would be my performance skills. Yeah, we can't wait, we can't wait. And now, um, obviously, time is tight, and, <laughs> but we would like, our read, readers would be happy to hear maybe a snippet of your song. Can okay. You? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> ah, don't worry, we're always up for surprises. <laughs> Let's go. Let our guards down, it's time to break the taboo, for we all 
all become animals. Echoes in my head, gotta break the taboo. No, we will never be criminals, criminals. Sticks and stones will break my soul. Gotta be on miracle, miracle. It's in my bones, gotta break the taboo before we all become animals, animals. Beautiful, thank you so thank much. You. Do you have a, a message for your, our readers and your fans? At obviously. Wiki? I love reading <laughs> <laughs> We Were Blogs, obviously, it's one of my favorite websites. Um, all the fans that obviously enjoy your revision always visit your website, so. I'd like to thank all of you for your support. <laughs> obviously, I accept everyone's opinion about, about obviously my song and my performance. It's obviously a matter of opinion. Everyone is different. Everyone likes different things. And what is you have a saying? And that means that that's why everyone is so different because in Maltese, it's, we say, but it means, literally speaking, in English, it means that's why the cow is so, is all so, it's different uh-huh, parts of uh-huh, the cow. Uh-huh. Um, obviously, I'd like to thank you all, even to the Maltese public, um, Maltese Cosetin, um, you've been amazing with me throughout this journey and throughout my career. I would not be here without my fans. I always have to remember that whatever I do, I do it for people to enjoy my music. Obviously, I do it for myself because I enjoy it, but I want to make other people happy with my music. So Perfect. Thank Thank you you so much. much. Now, we see you on the 3rd of February (laughs) in MFCC. (laughs) And if you want to vote, and you're Maltese, obviously, (laughs) and you want to vote for Christabel, then if you love her song, you want (laughs) to see her in Portugal, then do her a favor and send her to Portugal. Thank you so much. Thank you. (laughs) 